Okay guys, what's up? I am doing this video to show you what I'm eating today. Um, well, I'm not literally showing you what I'm eating today. I'm just telling you what my macros look like today. So, I guess we should get into it. Um, first, let's just look at how far I've come. If this page will load. Because we know how the internet is. Um, <laughs> So I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I'm having a pretty decent Saturday. I'm actually in the process of making one of my new, well, it's not my recipe, but it's someone else's recipe on their blog. But I'm going to recreate it to my liking and give it a test try or maybe just a try. So, yeah. But I will be showing you guys the recipe when it's completed, maybe later next week. I might show it this week. I don't know. It depends on how much I like it. So, let's get into this video. So, I'm down 51 pounds, and I'm really proud of that, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for what I'm eating today. Um, I do everything through Fitness Pal. Some people do not like Fitness Pal. Like, ugh. They'll try other little apps like, um, Hum, I think it's Humbug or some shit, and there's another app for tracking your stuff. It's so many apps for tracking your stuff, it's crazy. Like, there's a lot of apps. I actually used to use this app called Noon a long time ago, like, way back in the day, but I don't even think they had, I don't know if they still have that app for uh, Apple phone, because I have an Apple phone. So, let's just get into this. Um, this is what I'm having. Today, for breakfast, um, I actually, well, I made it a green smoothie, which I'm sipping on now. It was a little thick. I mean, it was just a little too thick for my liking because the chia seeds I put in last, and I should have put them in first because I hate chia seeds getting stuck in my throat. It creeps me out. It freaks me out. It creeps me out. It freaks me out. But, um, I did, um, add a little water to it to help out with that because water helps chia seeds get that like jelly substance around them so that's definitely helping but I do keep water beside me and whatnot. So for breakfast today I used almond breeze, I used chia seeds, I used Del Monte spinach. The spinach just gave it that, that green machine look. Um, I also used a half a cup of peaches. I used one whole banana and I'm also eating a half a grapefruit which is super hydrating, like, oh my god, this is just amazingly hydrating, I feel hydrated on the, I'm drinking water, I'm having an antioxidant filled smoothie, and then I'm also eating this delicious fruit that God blessed us with, oh, all praise go to God, and it is delicious, and it feels really, really refreshing, you know, ever since I added more fruit into my diet, it's really refreshing and it's really helping my skin because your girl's skin used to look like a cracked sidewalk just saying so that's what i had for breakfast um i am going to probably prep my lunch around 11 30 this shouldn't take too long because i'm actually going to have half a cup of elbow noodles i'm going to cut half of my tofu and save the other half maybe put it in a container with water because i'm going to use the other half for a tofu scramble next week because I love tofu scramble and turmeric is extra health like why wouldn't you have turmeric like before believe it or not like I used to be super afraid of turmeric like I just didn't like the taste I wasn't used to the taste even with nutritional yeast I wasn't used to the taste at first and now like I'm going crazy because I have no nutritional yeast but I'm making it y'all I'm making it and then turmeric like I use it in everything I be putting that shit in my curry I've been putting my, my little tofu scramble. I also put it in, I put in everything. I put it in regular food. Like, I put in stir fries. I just, I put it in everything. And then, and I bought some organic turmeric a long time ago. So I still have quite a bit. I have a large batch. So I'm doing really, really good with the turmeric. And, um, yeah, but I've been using it in everything. So... Definitely, if you haven't incorporated turmeric in your diet, please incorporate it in your diet. And it definitely helped my joints. My joints used to crack all the time. My joints do not crack anymore. So, 
that's the plan for lunch. I'm going to go ahead and use half a cup of elbow noodles. I'm going to save half of that block of tofu for my tofu scramble next week. I'm going to use kale. I have a bag and a half of kale. So I'm going to cook up some of that today. I'm also going I have a green pepper in the fridge. I'm going to use one third of that green pepper to put in this dish. Because I need to save that green pepper for I got a lot of new things to try next week. So definitely, you know, look out for me next week. Because we got a lot of new recipes. Like, well, again, some of these recipes, they belong to other people. I want to give credit where credit's due. But some of these recipes, I change them up to my liking or I add new ingredients or ingredients I have just to get the outcome that I prefer compared to what they do. Because I know one recipe that I do plan on doing in October, um, it is actually, I think I have them all in my email, but one is called the Pumpkin Cheesecake. And it called for whipped cream, but I'm not doing whipped It's vegan, but I'm not doing whipped cream just for the simple fact that I don't like whipped cream. I had to take a sip of my smoothie. My smoothie actually tastes like a vanilla latte. A cold vanilla latte with lots of green. So, it tastes pretty good. I put a lot of chia seeds in there. I could tell I could taste them all in my mouth, too. Which isn't bad because it's going to suppress my hunger, but yeah. So that's pretty much I'm going to use the elbow noodles, the tofu, the kale, and the green peppers. Then I'm going to throw in those two tablespoons of turmeric. And I'm going to also cut up two radishes because I did get some radishes from the store and they were only like 98 cents. I'm going to add a little almond breeze. Normally I add coconut milk, but I don't have any. So I'll just use almond milk to get the consistency I want, like a creamy consistency. And that is the plan for lunch. So that should keep me satiated. Then for dinner, oh, I didn't go over well. My macros for breakfast, 389 calories, 69 carbs, 8 fat, 10 protein. Then for lunch, 481 calories, 67 carbs, 12 that and 29 protein and then for my dinner I'm going to have another cup of kale because I'm really focused on getting my greens in today some more tofu I'm going to add the radishes again and I have an organic spring mix that I kind of want to saute with some teriyaki sauce and that's going to be like a cute little stir fry and that's 250 calories 25 carbs 8 fat and 24 protein then, of course, I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to have my garlic hummus because I love it. It is absolutely, positively divine. Honey, if you are not eating hummus, what are you doing with your life? Like, I, when I change from dairy to no dairy, meat to no meat, like, so much stuff has changed, you guys. Like, it is amazing how much stuff has changed. Like, it is just mind-blowing, but... Try it. Go one day dairy-free, meat-free. It will change your life. But hummus is delicious. I don't know what I was doing. Cheese dips. I don't know what I was doing when I was eating that stuff. Because hummus is so delicious. It, it just is just amazing. And they have so many flavors and blends for it. So I'm going to have some hummus on a piece of toast. I'm actually going to toast the wheat bread. Get it crispy. And I'm going to put some tomato on there. And that is just going to be a lovely snack. And that's going to bring me to 1,272 calories, 188 carbs. Don't be afraid of those carbs. They're your friends. And 31 fat and 69 protein. Let me tell you something. I didn't take a protein shake today. 69 protein is fairly decent. Average woman needs, I don't know for men, but average woman, I think it's like 45 protein. And I'm at 1,000. 656 sodium which is great because I really like to stay like away from the like lower than the 2300 with the sodium especially with 4 weigh in and 59 sugar which allows me to have 60 but I'm only having 59 so that is definitely great I haven't worked out yet I am debating I might do a little workout like weightlifting session or you know but I think I'm going to do something because I just don't want to be completely lazy today but 
a lot of um, my recipes, like I'm just trying so many new things. Like you can see the links up here that you can see that. Well, I can show you guys what I'm making now. This is actually the one I am making now. I forgot where I got this one from. But I was just on um, Pinterest just looking at some recipes because, you know, I was on here just checking out. I'm checking out some Jamaican recipes as well, too. But I was just on here looking at some recipes and I was like, hmm, I want to try some new stuff because I noticed that, like, like, a lot of things, like, you don't have to buy processed shit. I hate to say, like, there's processed shit to snack or enjoy your meals. Like, you make it from scratch in your best bed. So, this is one recipe that I'm going to try. You guys will see my email. I guess if you got a question, shoot me an email. But, this recipe is so, so interesting. It caught my eye, broccoli tater tots, because we just received a big frozen bag of broccoli. I only used half of the bag. And then I, it calls for three russet potatoes. I used four because I just wanted to have enough. Because I just, when I make my recipes and I make my snacks, like I like to stock up. Because if I like it and I eat it and I want to have it on deck. Um, yes, I used a half a bag. I'm not sure of the ounce of the bag, but I used quite a bit. And I'm steaming some broccoli now on the stove. So I got that steaming. Because I want that to crumble and break easily. I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, and you also knew I'm adding some turmeric. Because why not? I'm also going to put some oregano and I'm going to use avocado oil in the pan when I bake the tater tots. They'll either be tater tots or tater tot patties. Depending on how lazy they get. But I'm really going for tater tots because I really want to make tater tots. Because I haven't had tater tots in a long, long, long time. I'm also going to add some lemon garlic seasoning to it that I got from Flavor God to this recipe. Just to see, see, this is what I do. I change it up a little bit because, you know, I want it to my liking. So I've already cooked the potatoes. Um, let me see. Yeah, I've already cooked the potatoes. I've drained them. Um, I haven't preheated the oven yet. I'm going to work on that once I take the broccoli off the stove and. It says place the broccoli in a food processor and blend it until it's in very small pieces. So once I take it off the stove, I'm probably going to go ahead and use my hand blender, immersion hand blender. If you haven't checked it out, I got a prior video that shows my immersion hand blender. It was only like 17 bucks. And I'm going to take that blender and I'm going to blend it up into small pieces and I'm going to create the tater tots. And I'm going to put it in the pan and make sure I oil the pan because I don't have any parchment paper. So I'm going to oil the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to let it cook for 30 to 40 minutes and flip it, like it says in the recipe. But if this is a recipe, guys, you guys should definitely check out. If you're a tater tot lover, you know, why not? Like, I'm not afraid of carbs, and broccoli is, like, amazing piece of protein. So, yeah, definitely doing that. And this is another recipe that I also found. Like, I've been recipe hunting like a mofo because I've just been – I want to try new recipes, you know. I definitely want to – introduce new concepts and content to you guys with these recipes they may belong to other people but i do want to try and put my own little spin on it so you guys can just see you know um and yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing today of course watching youtube videos because i love health related youtube videos it's just life but i just wanted to give you guys an update of how my macros are looking today and I'm down 51 pounds. I'm actually 235.8. So I'm really hoping for a 2 pound loss tomorrow. But I just want to do this video. I want to update you guys. Let you guys know what's going on. I'm still sipping on my green smoothie. I'm not done. I still have quite a bit to drink. And I have half of a grapefruit here. That is delicious. I'm almost done with it. Because grapefruits like are just at first. It took me a while to get used to the bitter taste. But. That was just so good. Like, how can you not eat one in the morning? Um, that's so good. I'm sorry. I'm talking with food in my mouth. But, I need to check this food on the stove and get these broccoli cubed up really well. But, I just want to come into that for a bit. Ugh. Excuse me. What a video. Great food will do that to you. I just want to come to you guys with a little video little different video and just show you guys what I'm doing and I will definitely show you the tater tots when they're done
I think I'm gonna go ahead and put like a picture up or something or something or a video on my iPhone or something like that. But I will be back with you guys to need to check this food because I don't want to destroy this recipe. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.